All right, welcome to lesson number six. All right, so in this lesson, now that we have our mark is complete functionality set up, what we're gonna be doing is setting up our member dashboards. And then on that dashboard, we're going to be listing out all of the episodes that they have marked as complete. All right, let's go. So remember I set up the static dashboard right here. It just shows the series and then the recently watched. So basically we want to swap this out and only show episodes that are in that multi-reference field and then swap out the name for the actual name. So let's go back to member stack. And if you go to power ups and power ups down here under security, you can see member specific pages. All right, so let's go ahead and set this up. So first off, turn it on. So the folder we want to hide is the members collection. So remember, if we go back to members, so it's the URL slash members slash ID. So go back, we're gonna hide slash members. If they don't have access, we're just gonna send them to the login. And then uh, let's go ahead and send members to their page on login. So first off, you can see here, add attribute to your site, then set each member's unique link from the members page. So if we go to the members page, I'll show you what that means. So every member will have their own unique member page. So it's gonna be slash members slash the ID. So what we need to do is go back to Zapier and then update this process. So, so on this third one, what we wanna do is customize member and then let's refresh the fields. You can see we now have a member page and we want to add that as the member ID. Cause remember we set that as a slug in Webflow. So let's uh, pull that in here. So the ID. All right, so let's uh, test it out and confirm that it works. Okay, so it says it was sent correctly. Let's uh, confirm that it did. All right, so that is perfect. All right, so I believe if we log out and then log back in, it should take us to our dashboard. So let's do test at test.com password. Okay, so you can see it did take us to slash members slash member ID, um, but it's not, or it's saying that page doesn't exist. Oh, 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 that is true because it actually doesn't exist because we haven't set, <laughs> we haven't set up this template yet. All right, so let's see. I'm just going to copy all of this in this div and go to the members template, paste that in. I'll just uh, confirm that this works by changing the name to uh, their first name and let's uh, publish the site and go back and refresh. Perfect. Okay, so we have our unique member dashboard. So when somebody logs in, let's see, test at test.com. It sends us, welcome back. Perfect. Okay, so now what I wanna do is swap out and only show what they have recently viewed. So let's go to the second tab. And what I wanna do is go to the tab panel and add a new collection list. And what that collection list is gonna to link to is the members fields, the multi-reference of the completed videos. And then we can simply just copy and paste this whole line. All right. And then I can just uh, delete this whole uh, collection. So if I go to Chico Pico, no items are found obviously because that member has not completed any videos. Obviously this should be styled to be more visually pleasing. But for McKinsey Child, this one does have completed videos. So let's uh, test out that this works. So first off, let's go back and refresh. Okay, so let's go to the series. Let's go to, let's say, Grid versus Flexbox. Mark as complete. Go back to our dashboard. Oh. The dashboard link is not working. Let's see. Okay, so under member specific pages, we need to add this uh, member page link um, data attribute. So I'm gonna add that to the login.
and default page, click save. So I believe this will get rewritten to dashboard and then it will also have that link. Let's uh, see if that works. A few moments later. Okay, so I actually just found a bug. So the member page link, it says data ms-member values default page, but on their help center, it says ms member page equals default. And actually this one works and uh, this member page link does not. Oh, hey, future McKinsey here. So I'm editing this lesson and I realized it got very confusing. So I just wanted to uh, quickly elaborate on what all happened. I had to cut chunks out so it made more sense and you didn't get lost along with me, but there was a little confusing parts. So if I go into the login, what I'm doing is instead of rewriting it, um, I've decided to hide the login link altogether using this data-ms-content and the exclamation members. So we're hiding that for any members who are signed in. And then I also created an additional link to the dashboard and I'm using ms-member-page and the value is default. So I actually found this in their help docs. If you go back to member stack, the member page link under the member specific pages says to use data-ms-member and then the value of default page. For me, that did not work. I would give it a try depending on when you're viewing this lesson, it may be working, um, but at the time of this recording, it did not work. So I went with the MS member page and the value of default. All right, let's get back to it. So do MS member page. So what we're gonna do is delete this one, add one MS member page, and that's gonna go to default, click save and publish that and go back to the site, refresh. Now, if we click dashboard, it'll take us back to our unique dashboard, uh, depending on which user is signed up or signed in. Okay, so now let's uh, test it out. Let's go to the series and let's try to complete another video. Let's mark, um, let's see, element hierarchy. Let's mark that one as watched. Perfect. And let's go back to the dashboard. Recently watched, you can see the element hierarchy is now shown here. Perfect, so it's all working correctly. We have the dashboard link set up so somebody can go to their unique dashboard and we have them forwarded to their unique dashboard on sign up. Okay, so in the next lesson, so what I wanna do is clean up this button. So when you click mark as watched, you can see obviously this is super ugly. And also if we go back to a completed video, it still shows the mark as watched. All right, so in the next lesson, we're gonna clean all that up. <laughs>